All right, everybody, this is Shake and Bake back on Homebrew. All right, man, you guys, I, I'm sure some of you have had this happen to you. You find the game. It's not a mainstream game. It's quirky, whatever. <laughs> All right, well, that was Shake and Bake, but that was like four years ago, okay? Four years ago, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking, <laughs> and I'm still playing homebrew vehicle sandbox, which I think they're now calling homebrew patent something, um, patent unknown, right? And I wanted, I've been, I, I, they had, I tracked this game over the years. I, I used to play the hell out of it, right? I'm talking hundreds of hours. There was something very quirky and fun about this game. And I, uh, but like any other early access game, you play them, you don't play, you play, you go back when there's updates, and that's what I did. I went back, saw that update come out, a whole, and I'm gonna talk about that update here soon. But um, and why I I've fallen in love again with homebrew. Now I guess it's called patent unknown, not homebrew vehicle sandbox. I don't think so. But I want to start off just. I, I want it because it's my stream and I get to do what I want, right? I want to start off with a little bit of blast from the past, right? This is from four years ago, and this is, was my excitement about this game in its raw form. This is HB13. Let's check it out. And you just can't stop playing it. That has happened to old Shaky here on Homebrew. I can't stop playing this damn game. And the funny part is, I love multiplayer. I'm not even playing with anybody, I'm by myself. And I'm going to show you real quick in this video some of the crazy stuff, these cars that I've built. I haven't even started on the hovercrafts okay, or the this planes. Is, this is even be crazy, from four years ago. <laughs> I, I love I this. Show this. I love that you could I want you to see build all kinds like of things, test it out, drive around. It is wild. So let's take a look. Let's this start off. I'm going to save my last vehicle here that I just built for last because probably is one of my favorites. Let's start off with um, the Kraken. Let's start off with oh, Bigfoot. Big <laughs> Let's start off with Bigfoot. Let's see what old Bigfoot looks Big like foot. here. Listen, look how different it was. I can't, I can't even remember, actually, now that I think about it. There's Bigfoot. <laughs> this. <laughs> and this is what I was just, you know, kind of learning it. This one is and, how uh, it all started right here. Let's turn the lights on. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, lights are pretty darn bright on this one, if I remember right. Let's actually and turn then, those then, off. Here, let's pause it. You know, back then they had these bolts and things in the map and stuff. This was the kind of the area you could play in. Um... And again, if you just join the stream, welcome. I'm, sh I'm kind of giving a little blast from the past. This is from four years ago before I transition into the new homebrew vehicle sandbox of 2018, which is epic. Um, so let's see what else I, I throw out here in this. Uh, there's some uh, look. <laughs> right there. I mean, this is back oh, yeah. in the beginning. Oh, yeah. That's just scary. And let me show you guys something else here. All right. And I want to show you. Uh, this was a tribute I did just to give you a sense of what the building was like back then, how different the user interface was and all of that. And, uh, you know, you just, but, it, what, but the, what the core of this game has not changed. And that is, let me turn this down a little bit. At the core of this game, what's not changed, as you're going to see here shortly, is you get this raw basically open world that you get to decide right what you are going to make in this open sandbox world and the sky is the limit i'm talking like they have given you so much power over the details of your vehicle and it, there is a very steep learning curve I mean, you have to learn this stuff you have to want to experiment and try different things but man, when you eventually hit the sweet spot, when you dial it in, right? It is epic. Um, all right, enough of this. Let's see. I want to see this. Thing. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, I get a little bit of allergies today. Uh, this is back HB 13, four years ago when I first got in this game. Loved it then. This latest update, I'm in love with it again. But this was was like, and now I'm going to end this, guys, even though it does bring back some very fond memories of uh, homebrew. And we are going to now fire up, it's not even homebrew vehicle sandbox, it's homebrew patent, patent, 
unknown. Homebrew patent unknown. Let's check this. Let me close this out real quick, guys. All right, here we go. Homebrew V15 patent unknown. All right, let me know how the sounds are, are between my voice and the game. Uh, one thing you're going to see right away is the user interface is, you know, it's been overhauled, of course. It's going to be in four years. We see weather prediction clear. So this latest update, let's go jump in a multiplayer server right now. Let's see here. Uh, let's go. They got seven or thirty-two. You just join. It's easy to join a server if you want to do multiplayer. You don't have to do multiplayer. It's totally up to you. Okay. The first thing is, it's a whole new world. Okay. Now, if I was doing a voice server, it's a brand new world. <laughs> it's a brand now let's start with moving around in the game. This is crazy how they did this. So, um, basically, you hit your number three key, and they've got this portal system. Now, let's say. If I wanted to portal, I just right click my mouse. I could portal to Mr. VT Nasalo, whatever his name is. I could portal, Porto. I could portal to Trinity Jump, uh, Freeway Strip Two, uh, Freeway Strip One. I could go to the Canyon Alpha. Uh, but let's start off right here at Freeway Parking. And boom, you let go of your mouse, you're there. That quick. Okay, that quick. It's epic. All right, sorry, I'm sorry about my nose, guys. Okay, so. Let's let's see. I'm gonna get up in the sky because I want to show you the world first, and I think I can change the weather here. Let's see weather. Sun maybe. Fading fading weather to sun. I got the sun. I got the sun comes. So they got weather now in this where you can. Um, there's rain. There's like thunder, and that in the distance right there is a tornado. So they actually have like wind blowing tornado. Um, do I have my, is my sun coming up? I don't think it's working. Maybe I can't override it, but let's get up in a plane. I'm going to show you what the map looks like. Let's start off with the map. So let's bring up our, my vehicles here. Okay. Um, where's that? Let's, let's do, uh, which one's the best way to get around? I like my stunt plane. I built this one. Um, yeah, let's do the stunt plane. That'll probably be good to, even how you deploy your vehicle, you can scroll in, scroll out. They got this whole new deploy system. It looks epic. It works great. Um, it's awesome. Here is the other thing I want to show you while I, while I'm in it. Well, let's first fly around. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna jump all over the place. Let's fly around and let me know how the sounds are between my voice and the game. Let's, let's actually do this real quick, just so. It's not too loud. There we go. All right, let's get back to the plane. We're going to do a sightseeing tour. Just so you, for people who haven't seen the game in a while, who've never seen the game, I want to first show you the map. Because this is a big change in the whole map system here. All right, here we go. I love this plane. Yeah, this was a, my attempt at like a stunt plane. I love it. Okay, so... Let's get up here a little higher. I'll zoom. I'll do third person view so you can get. Look, I mean, the runway is epic. It's lit up. It's got lights. It's like a hub within the game. People are always hanging out there. It's very awesome. Um, let's let's zoom out a little bit here. You can zoom out with the camera. Just so you can, so you're starting to see. It used to be more all of these like kind of islands that were separated by a lot of water. Uh, what they did, it looks like to me is they made basically one huge map. Now, there are still some islands spread out around there, uh, but it is humongous. I'm talking, you. I mean, it is, I don't know the size of it. Yeah, it's great. Pie with a mustache, it's looking fantastic. Uh, I'm just, and we're gonna, and there's more a lot to show you here. But if you love to build, if you love to get in there, tweak a vehicle, I'm talking down to the nuts and bolts, and then see the outcome of that where your vehicle is just humming like butter, then you gotta check this out. Okay, so here's this, here's the map, right? Visually, it looks off the hook. I got this maxed out. Uh, I mean, right now, I think about like 80 frames a second up there. I'm looking around, it's huge, it's huge. And I mean, in the, my plane, I mean, it handles, you feel like you're flying, you hear the wind. Uh, they've added this tornado up here that you can fly into. Um, and this V-15 just came out not too long ago. 
And uh, I'm guessing more is coming. Like, they're going to be cranking out the updates. It is like, if you watch the start of the stream, this is basically a whole new game. It is like a whole new game. But at the core of it, at the core is that part where you think of what you want to build, and it can be anything, and you build it. That's what it is. Uh, there is multiplayer. I'm in there right now. I don't know if there's some other people. I'm going to have to look. But you also, there's there's weapons. You can shoot at each other, those kind of things, if that's what you want to do. But to be honest, most of the people I see are basically, let's, let's bring this baby in for a landing. Let's get a little smoke out the back. Look at this moon's up. It's looking epic. Let's see if I can bring this baby in, guys. Let's see what skills I got to land. Um, but most people come in, they hang out, they, you know, they, they check out each other's vehicles, they try each other's vehicles. Uh, really, really positive community. I like that. People are very helpful. They got a really active Discord channel. Um, all right, let's bring her in. Let's uh, let's bring her in. Slow her down, shake, Sh shake, shake, shake. Bring her in, baby. Slow her down. There you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Not bad. It wasn't pretty, but uh, <laughs> we made it. All right. So I want to show you something that's really epic. And um, I'm talking epic. Oh, let's see. Let me see if I don't do this right here. So right there, I think he says his name Zol, Z H, the number zero O U L U L zero 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 Z. Jeez, zero U L Zol. He said not to use his name, but I am because I'm going to show you something that's epic. Okay, so let's go into build. Let's go into build. We are going to open uh, last project. Now, the building has changed, too, in, a, in not a lot of ways, but it has changed. Um, it has definitely changed. The one thing I really like is you build on the spot. So, like, if I wherever you're at on the map, you just can build, right? I mean, you, so you don't have to go back to a hangar. You don't get put back in a hangar. You can go in those hangars and build if you want, but you can just build wherever you you're at now. Look at this. I'm all into doom buggies, guys. You know, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you in a minute why. This new landscape, these ridges, these mountains. It for me. Hey, what's up there, Iroki? For me, it is all about four wheeling and building the most epic suspension system I can to handle these dunes. I love it. It's challenging, and man, when you dial it in, it is epic. I'm gonna show you that in a minute now. But look at this thing, how it looks, right? I'm gonna show you something that Zol. Zool did. I believe he did. Um, and if, if somebody else deserves credit, uh, make sure you put it in the comments. But you hit, there's a, it's basically a mod, right? A tool. And this allows you to come in here and change the sizes of your pipes, the colors. It is cool as hell. I'm going to show you this. Now watch. Check this out. I'm going to hit load settings for all. Load. Confirm. Confirm. Now, this is really what my vehicle looks like. Check that baby out. I love his little uh, his little Mario guy that pops up there and paints it all in and does it, right? Yes. And sex, like Sexy says, who's, you know, I've known uh, Sexy for a long time. It is Zol's, Zool's mod. So basically what this does, okay, is it... Look at, look at that. Look at that. Man, someone else has just arrived or something. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, it's someone's shooting. Someone's shooting. All right. But you basically, I'll show you what you can do. Check this out. Let's change all the sizes of the pipes. And let's go, and you got plates, nice. pipes up here, uh, pipes, pipe cubes. You can import cool. stuff, extras. It is epic. You can get this off their Discord channel. Um, let's, go, <laughs> let's go to pipes. Now, check this out. Uh, I'm gonna, let's pump it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go four. And basically, you can apply pipe by pipe, or you can do it the whole thing at once. I'm gonna do it the whole thing at once. Apply it all. Confirm. Now check the magic out. Check this wonder. Look, you see all the pipes? The pipes are fat. They got fatter. And if you want to go fatter, right? You want to go fatter? Go fatter. I mean, how epic is that? If you want to just pick one, 
Pick one. Take it back down. Let's make that one one. Apply to selected. Now I got me a back of skinny pipe. I mean, so what's happening with these vehicles is now, I mean, you, we can make some cool stuff with plates and stuff, but this mod is going to dovetail, I think, into, into taking it to the next level where you can really customize these vehicles and make them even look more epic than they already are. Um, you can also change the, um, up here, the pipe cubes. And the pipe cubes are basically the weld joints where you weld the pipes together. So if I wanted to make some big old, big old, I guess, pipe cubes, let's apply to all. Apply. Confirm. And you see these right here? See how big they're getting? Look at these big old blocks now. Just like that, you could go crazy and do crazy stuff, right? Colors, if you want to, let's go back to the, um, let's apply this to pipes. Let's get our pipes back up. I want to show you something cool too that I found out from Zoll today. Um, and we're going to do this. Watch this. You see the colors up here? You actually can hold shift and like get a bunch of colors. And we're going to apply to all. Confirm. Check that out. It mixes the colors on the pipes. That is epic. Look at that. Okay, so that's some cosmetic stuff, right? But let's go drive this baby and see what it, see what it can do. Oh, let me show you first real quick. Let's, uh, I want to show you something. So if you're new to homebrew or you never heard of this game, so you see this vehicle, well, how do you make it go? How do you, what, what do you mean the detail and all that? It looks like just a bunch of pipes and wheels, like it's nothing, right? Okay, well, check this out. Okay, <laughs> and this is nothing, guys. Some of these guys who make these crazy vehicles, um, this is nothing. I mean, there, there would be hundreds of boxes on here, do all kinds of things, right? And so what this basically it is, is basically, you know, they've taken, taken programming language We'll call it kismet, right? Basically, they've taken this language, right? And they've put it into these boxes, these functions. So if you're not a programmer, you can kind of somewhat handle it. And basically, these represent different things. So like if I zoom in here, here's a light, here's a battery, fuel tank, gyro disc. Here's the bucket seat. Uh, I got a smooth box. There's a there's two engines. There's a, the transmission. But when you click on these... Off to the right, you could you could get into all the details of the gear ratios, right? Uh, overall gear coefficient. Same with wheels. You could get into you know this is one wheel I just clicked, right? So you can like, you know, the, the steer angle, the offset, the the wheel scale, the different kinds of wheels, brake force, all of these things you can go and tweak like a crazy person. Uh, light, how much power it gets, what color it is. Uh, this is, uh, to me, the thing I love learning about recently is uh, this whole thing of having a uh, suspension system, right? Where you actually can have shocks in on a vehicle, and then you could go into these shocks, these springs, right? And you could tweak everything. I'm talking like how much pressure before they collapse come down. I mean, all of this stuff you could experiment with, and if you, if, and until you get it where you want it um and it is not easy and i love that it's not easy you to get to this point you gotta work and that's just how it is i'm gonna exit this i don't want to say what i did because i want to show you hey what's up uh, barney yeah it has okay it's nighttime but i'm gonna pull out the beast no that, not the, that's not the beast guys let's let's bring out the uh i i love building vehicles like doom buggies and things and I'm going to show you why when I saw this map, I was like, yes, finally. This right here, guys, is my baby. This is my baby. And this thing is all about, for me, it's all about performance. Yeah, I think it looks okay, but I'm not going to probably skin it because for me, this thing is all about climbing these hills with this suspension system, getting there, surviving it, all of that. That's what that this thing is all about. Um, I'm gonna show you something real quick here, though. Heading over to do a little jump in here, I want to show you what they've got in the in the garage here. That is a blast from the past. That I think is awesome. 
I've got this thing geared pretty low because I like the low gearing for the uh, for the climbing. I'm really sorry about my nose, guys. Uh, it's allergies. Okay, so this is the little blast from the past. We're gonna get in here. Just pull up a little bit here. So these guys right here were in the original home brew vehicle sandbox. This guy right here, I can't remember. What's the name of this guy again? Both of these guys were. <laughs> my vehicle's going. Both of these guys were in HB13. I, well, he was an HB13. I don't know if this guy was an HB13. Maybe he was. I can't remember. And basically, they were in the garage. And um, oh, let's change. It. Yeah, there we go. Time twelve. Ha ha! There we go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So the thin one is Joe, and the bigger one's Danny. Okay. Here's Danny. Here's Joe. And I noticed this the other day. I didn't see this, but I came here and found this. Then they've got like this little garage area, you know, which is cool. You know, I don't know what they're going to do with this. I don't know what they're going to do with them. If maybe you come to them for missions at some point, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to have some kind of missions or things like that in the game for those who like that kind of stuff. And maybe they'll give you a mission or something. I don't know. Maybe they'll you unlock some cool parts if you do something. I think that would be kind of cool where you had to do a quest or some kind of vehicle driven thing and then basically you get awarded with some epic part you know like maybe you know go climb go climb 10 hills or climb the Widowmaker, and then you get a special emblem for your vehicle that shows that you were like a the beast at climbing so let's head out i'm going to show you what this thing can do Let's go. I got some. Pay. I've been doing this. Uh, another day, I was going out here and I ran into the guy and he was uh, doing some four wheeling and we just went to town out here. The map. I don't know how big is the map, sexy. I don't know how many square <coughs> kilometers it is. All I know, it's big as hell. It's big as hell. Now, see the suspension system. Do you see this? Uh, the what, what's it called again? The fit here in the back. What the hell is a spoiler? It's the air is actually pushing down on the back. And, and see how the shocks come up? I love that. And it's still a work in progress. I'm still tweaking this thing, but I'm happy with the progress so far. And like I said, I just like to come out here and I just like to climb, baby. You just you look at the wheels bouncing, it's epic. Uh, the visuals, again, I think they've done a lot of work on the visuals again. It looks fantastic. Let's get it, let's get it, baby. Let's run this ridge up here. Oh, jeez. I don't know what that was. Someone's shooting that shake already. <laughs> I'm under fire. I think uh, from somewhere out there. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm under fire. Let's use this ridge for some cover. And I've got the got the uh, the, the wheels set up so they kind of go out uh, when I make contact like that. And it kind of stabilizes the vehicle. Um. <laughs> Whoever's shooting at me. I don't know who that is, but let's get some air, baby. About 100 square kilometers, maybe. That's what uh, Sexy's thinking. All I know is it's huge. And there's not any, like, loading. I don't see any, like, um, loading issues with the screen or the textures in the distance. None of that. Nothing's popping out or in. Uh, it, it just looks fantastic. All right, let's get, see, like, this is what I'm telling you. I love this thing. It just absorbs all this. It's like the my doom buggy from heaven. It can take it, baby. Uh, well, <laughs> not that. All right, so that's that. Let's go and show you something else now. That's my doom buggy, and I love it. Let's uh, let's see what else I got in the in the candy jar here. Here is um, where is it? Okay, so I made a little ultimate jet just to give you an example. If you don't know anything about this game, stuff you can make. You know, it's all about like what you want to do. Um, some of these guys make things that don't even look like vehicles, and they're just uh, they're crazy. Uh, but this thing I made, I. Uh, just was having a little fun just a little bit of a kind of a, a jet thing i don't even know what it i don't even know what it is i, I wanted something fast i could fly around the map um, and you can see now we'll get up here a little higher and i'll show you just how big this is again i mean look you can see look at that let me zoom out here a little bit that's how big the map is right now that's that's awesome 
Look at that. And I don't know how high you can go. But, uh, I mean, I'm pretty damn high. Let's go check out the tornado now. How do I change the weather effects again? Oh, so I can make show the, uh, the rain? Oh, I think it's weather. Hold on. Weather. Storm? Let's see if we start getting some storm weather here. All right, let's go down and check out the tornado real quick. Let me get my landing gear uh, deployed here. So here's this uh, tornado. I just went right through it. Okay, here comes. Okay, now we're getting the weather coming. The rain's coming. Let's go. And, the, and this weather affects your vehicle, which I think is epic. Let's get down to the ground. All right. Land this baby. All right. Let's get our doom buggy out. Let's head towards the, uh, the tornado. So we got some weather effects. Does affect physics, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, all right, hey, take care, Pie of the Mustache. Uh, let's take uh, Doonezilla. No, let's take our, our stunt plane. What do we got here? The stunt plane? We'll take the stunt plane, maybe. No, let's drop. Hey, let's take the stunt plane because I think the wind from the uh, tornado is going to affect this plane. Let's do it. Let's go. And then we'll head over there. Some people over there. See if they got some vehicles out. All right, here we go. Into the storm. And already the wind is affecting this plane right now. How do I make the lightning? Uh, do I, can I make up the storm even worse? Let's see what happens here. That looks, that looks cool. Even the ground looks wet. I didn't notice that before. Look at that. All right, let's see what happens to uh, this poor pilot. Look at the wind affecting the flight. Oh, 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 it's all over with the crying. So I'm getting carried up in the vortex uh, to Kansas. Look at that. Look at that. So what I like about this is the fun factor. Like they're adding some fun things uh, to the world, like this tornado, and I don't know what else they're gonna add. There is also um, a jump. I'm gonna show you this jump. We're gonna head over here. And how we're gonna do that is I'm, let's just get out of this. Let's let's pull up our portal, or our thing here. And we're gonna head, look how quick you can do that. I love that. And I think the jump starts on this side. So let's go right to the ground here. We're going to get our, uh, is that the landing spot? Which, oh, it's, oh, let's go over there. The Neo jump. All right, this is the Neo jump. Oh, no, did I go too far? Where the hell are you going, Shake? Um, <laughs> okay. Well, since we're here, um, let's, let's do a little four-wheeling real quick. All right, here we go. Let's bring up the uh, Dunezilla. Bring it in here a little bit. Let's see how this thing does over here. Now, I don't know if the weather affects um, ground vehicles. Like, you know, if it's raining, does it make it more slick? I don't know. And, and I almost feel like it does because Normally, I'd be able to climb that without a problem, and it, maybe it makes the ground a little slicker. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's see where this goes. I have not been on this island before. And then I'm going to show you guys, when I wrap this stream, I want to show you one other area that is very cool. I'm really focused right now, guys, so I'm not... 
want to get up this. Nice, 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 nice. I've not, I've never been over here. This looks like. What's this up here? Like a tracker? Check this out. So there are like some race tracks too. So if you're into like racing cars, I'm trying to figure out how to get to this one though. Let's see, let's go this way. This looks like almost the old, um, where am I? I have never been here before, I don't think, but it looks like there's some familiar, this looks almost like, this is like the second island. HB 14, maybe, yeah, that's what it looks like. This looks like from HB 14. <coughs> yeah, it, 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 it's one of the HB versions. They, they What they did is they, um, they, I don't know, for nostalgic reasons or just fun reasons, they they put in basically versions of the, um, oh, we're going in. I want to get to, let's see, where's that? Trinity Jump. That's what I want to show you. Where's the Trinity Jump? Right here. Okay, so here's the Trinity Jump. Check this out. So... I like that they're putting in kind of fun things like this. Let's try the Trinity jump. Here we go. Let's see if I can... I don't, I'm not going to make it, but... And I don't think that the wind is uh, helping. straight on here. Nope, nope, no! <laughs> um, yeah, that was an epic fail. Totally an epic fail. Shake. All right, I'm going to show you one last thing that was cool, I thought, uh, that, that in this version, like I said, they, they kind of brought back things from Joe Damp, Jodan ATV Park, Outer Track, Canyon Alpha, Neo Jump, Trinity. You see the names pop up. I want to find the old Fiji, Valley Beach, Tropical Dune, Tropical Base, Hero Rally Track, Hero Mountain Track. Where is it? Canyon Omega. What I'm trying to find is... Um, the original HB 13. And you actually could go into other people's vehicles. Like, I could go to seat four. Oh, he's gone. Well, I thought he was there. I'm trying to find... Um, Lost Beach, Lost Port. <coughs> um, where is it? Joe Dan's Garage. Is that? Oh, that might be it. Yep. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. So this, guy's Yeah, so this is the original. Here we go. Look, check it out. Original HB13 Garage. I mean, they, I think they maybe did a little tweak into it, but let's, let's clear up the weather real quick. And this is where it all started. This is where you used to build in homebrew vehicle sandbox. Uh, you would come in here. I think there was a little fire that was sitting right here. Uh, I remember this fridge. That's epic. Blast from the past. And then there was actually something that was like right up here. I can't remember it was the way you like open the door to get outside, but there was something right there as well. And this was the original... This was the, this was, let's go check it out. This was the original, basically, map in Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. And in the middle here, all around here were, you know, like, uh, basically little floating bolts and different things you could collect. 
Um, and, in, and also there's a way you could activate an alien attack, which is pretty cool. And in the middle here was this kind of dome. It looks a little different in this, um, this build, but it's still pretty darn close. And I spent many, many, many hours uh, in this HB-13, in this part of the world. But again, the HB-15, uh, which is now homebrew, un, un, homebrew patent unknown. So it's not even a homebrew vehicle sandbox anymore. And I'm, I'm sure why they changed the name. I'm sure they have a reason, but let's go check this out. What do we got going on here? They've got some kind of like little track thing. This is this is totally different. Let's go see what we got going up here. Can you race around this thing, I'm guessing? Let's go for it. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if there's glass right there. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that didn't work. Now, you know, you notice how the vehicle's stopping in midair? That's me doing that. Um, it's basically, uh, it's called a drag modifier. You could put on your vehicle to kind of slow it down if you want to do that. Um, <coughs> it's, all, it's all what you want to put on it. Let's go back, let's go end it at the airport. I think I saw some people over there. Uh, ground, shake and makes vehicle. Trinity Jump, Neo Jump. Let's go find the highway, Salty Lake. No, let's go find the Canyon Omega Hero Freeway Strip. Here we go. I love the new spawn system. Uh, getting back to a location is so easy. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, there's one player right there. Let's see. I thought there was a way. List players. Oh, there's only... <laughs> there's only... <laughs> There's only one other player here. Now, the I, I've been playing this in the last couple of days, and it's been pretty packed in the server. So maybe it's just the time of the day uh, why there's nobody in here, or maybe it's because I'm streaming. Who knows? But, uh, guys, this is Homebrew Vehicle. No, no. Homebrew Patent Unknown. Uh, huge update. Check it out. It's like a whole new damn game. And um, big shout-out to uh, Copy Bug Pace, the developers. Uh, good job, man. Keep it up. Keep adding stuff in there. It's uh, it's looking awesome. A lot of fun. Uh, cheers, peace, guys. Thanks for watching. Hello, uh, Anonymous. <coughs> um, before I go, if you're watching, any questions you got? <coughs> if I missed anything that's important, uh, let's uh, just let me know. Let me see, make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I covered everything that I can think of. Let's let's see if I got something fun to. Oh, here's Lost Airport. Let's just jump around a little bit. Uh, what do we got here? Freeway strip, freeway helipads, freeway parking. What's this right here? Canyon Omega. Let's go check out Com Canyon Omega. This is Canyon Omega. I'm going to end it with some four-wheeling guys because it's my favorite thing to do in this game. I'm just going to gun it. I love. This is this is it. This is my baby right here. This is, this is my baby. This is all about just balance. Now, you know, as soon as I say that, it's going to flip over, right? You know that, right? Got the suspension kicked in. Get it, baby. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, get don't hold on. Get it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking. I could do this for oh I do do this for hours. And, and I just I just drive around the map, hitting jumps. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know why, but it's fun as hell. And I get it, you just go back and forth and tweak the vehicles until it handles the way you want it to. Get it. Get it, baby. Get it. Get it. That thing is a beast. This is probably going to be the best off-road vehicle I've made yet to date in homebrew, and I've made a lot. 
Uh, but I, uh, thanks to like some great tutorials people have posted, I finally learned how to get the, um, the suspension system working. And you can see I've got these joints that hook up to some shocks. They're actually called springs in the game that allows these wheels to flex when they're going over stuff. So if you want to make like a rock climber, whatever, and you want to get all into that, you could, you could go crazy with it. Let's get some air. Let's do it. Get it, baby. Get it. <laughs> get it. That is too epic. Right, let's see if we can get down this mother. Let's change. It. Let's go first person here. You can see. Oh, jeez. You can see those shocks just working, man. Oh! All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the game. It's on Steam. I don't even know what the price for it is now. 15 bucks, maybe? 19 I don't know where they're at. They do have sales on it sometimes. Uh, but if you like to build, explore this big sandbox world. And again, you can build anything you want. I mean, anything. And I've just showed you some, you know, basic vehicles. But you can make... I, I'm telling you, the, guy, the stuff these guys make in here is, like, insane. Um... They don't even look like vehicles. They're, they're freaky. They're all out of this world. Um, and again, a real positive community. They have a Discord channel. If you go to their Steam page and go into their forums, uh, they get a link to um, their, their uh, Discord channel. So cheers, peace, guys. Wish you the best. And until next time, this has been Shake and Bake. Shake out.